Hi church, welcome to KO, uh, welcome to another shorts video. My name is Tim and today I'm doing part two in our series of condemnation, or on condemnation I should say. Um, if you haven't seen the first video I'd encourage you to watch that as it gives you a nice uh, overview and definition of the word, of what it means. Okay, so I thought we would look at the life of Joseph. Um, if there's anybody that I could think of in the Bible who had any right to feel a sense of condemnation, I thought it would be him. Because as from a young age, uh, his brothers wanted him dead. And they tried to kill him, um, but one of them decided to say, no, let's sell him into slavery instead. So he became a slave, and whilst working for his master, his master's wife tried to uh, seduce him, and uh, she then accused him of sexual misconduct, and that landed him in jail. So I would think that having uh, a death threat on your head, being sold into slavery, and ending up in jail, you'd feel pretty much like your life is over. Uh, that's, that's pretty tough going. So let's have a closer look. What can we learn from the life of Joseph? Well, first of all, his brothers were jealous. Uh, he was given quite a clear and amazing vision from God about something that would take place many, many years later. So I would say, first of all, just be careful who you share your dreams and passions with. Um, make sure they're people who are going to give you honest feedback, but also be supportive. And um, yeah, just not with people who are going to pull you down. Secondly, um, it, when you do find yourself in a bad situation, like Joseph was in a bad situation uh, working for a master, he was a slave, make sure that you act with integrity at all times. You know, if, if you're in this place of condemnation right now, if you're feeling like you're really under it, it might be a work colleague, it could be a boss, it could be even somebody at church, it could be a friend, keep your own personal integrity, keep your own conscience clear, keep yourself right before God. And lastly, when Joseph did finally meet his brothers, and, and this is the real twist to the whole story, his journey through prison led him to become the second most powerful man in the world. Uh, Egypt was the superpower at that time, and he became Pharaoh's right-hand man. So don't forget, all things work together for the good of those who love God according to those who have been called to his purposes. It's a slight paraphrase of a very famous verse in Romans. But you know, and Paul describes our troubles as light and momentary compared to the surpassing glory of what awaits us in heaven. But even whilst here on earth, God has plans to prosper us. God has plans to prosper the people around us, through us. And that's exactly what happened to Joseph. He was in a, in a position where he could bless uh, the, the entire nation and half the world at the time. But when his brothers returned to him, he sought reconciliation. And that should always, always be our goal. Because God is working, uh, God, God has started a good work in you, and he's faithful to complete that. But he's also started a good work in the other people that might be making you feel condemned. And God is faithful in completing that work in them also. So, practical steps. First of all, get some help. Find someone you can trust, who can help you, who can guide you with wisdom and, and discernment and insight and knowledge. And, and begin to work through that process of uh, getting yourself right before God, making sure that you're clean, making sure you haven't done anything wrong. And then work out a course of action. Do you approach this person? Do you let them know how you feel? Do you just keep it private and just bring it before the Lord? These are things you have to, to wrestle with and do that with someone who can help you. So let's just pray. Father God, thank you that in Jesus Christ there is no condemnation, that you never leave us, you never forsake us. 
and that you have plans to prosper us and to give us a hope and a, and, a, and a future. So Lord, if anyone is feeling right now in a place of condemnation, would you uh, bring somebody alongside that person who can help them and bring them out of this situation? Amen. Be blessed and we'll see you next time for part three.